War Democrats in American politics of the 1860s were adherents of the Democratic Party who rejected the Copperheads, Peace Democrats who controlled the party. The War Democrats demanded a more aggressive policy toward the Confederacy and supported the policies of Republican President Abraham Lincoln when the Civil War broke out a few months after his win in the 1860 presidential election, Ohio. In the critical state elections in Ohio in 1862, the Republicans and War Democrats formed a Unionist party. This led to victory over the Democrats led by Copperhead Clement Vallandigham. However, it caused trouble for radical Republican Senator Benjamin Wade's re-election bid. War Democrats opposed Wade's radicalism and Wade refused to make concessions to their point of view. He was narrowly re-elected by the legislature. In 1863 the Ohio gubernatorial campaign drew national attention. Ohio Republicans and War Democrats were dissatisfied with the leadership of Ohio Gov. David Todd and turned to War Democrat John Browth after he made a strongly pro-Union speech in his hometown of Marietta on June 10, 1863. He was elected to the governorship that fall on a pro-Union ticket, partly due to his stronger support than Todd of the anti-slavery direction that the Northern War effort was taking. Bruff telegraphed Washington that he had a 100,000-vote margin over Vallandigham. President Abraham Lincoln wired Bruff, glory to God in the highest. Ohio has saved the nation, 1864 presidential campaign. Recognizing the importance of the War Democrats, the Republican Party changed its name for the national ticket in the 1864 presidential election, held during the Civil War. The National Union Party nominated the incumbent president and former Republican Lincoln for president and former Wall Democrat Andrew Johnson for vice president. As a result, many War Democrats could support Lincoln's Civil War policies, while avoiding the Republican Republican ticket. While a large number of Republican dissidents had maintained an entity separate from the National Union Party leading up to the 1864 election, they withdrew their ticket for fear that splitting the vote would allow the Copperhead Democrats and their peace at all costs ticket to possibly win the election. The National Union ticket won 42 of 54 available Senate seats and 149 of 193 available House of Representatives seats, 1865-68. Following Lincoln's 1865 assassination, Johnson became president. In the 1868 lead-up to the first post-Civil War presidential election, President Johnson stood as a candidate for the Democratic Party presidential nomination, though he never finished higher than a distant second in the 22 ballots cast at the Democratic Convention. Lincoln appointed other Wall Democrats to high civil and military officers. Some joined the Republican Party, while others remained Democrats. Leadership Prominent war Democrats included Andrew Johnson, the U.S. Senator, then military governor of Tennessee who was elected vice president in 1864 on a ticket with Lincoln, and became president after Lincoln's assassination. George Bancroft, historian and presidential speech writer. John Brough, governor of Ohio. Benjamin F. Butler, congressman from Massachusetts, Union General, John Cochran, John Adams Dix, of New York, Buchanan's Secretary of the Treasury, Union General, Stephen A. Douglas, Senator from Illinois, Democratic Party's northern candidate in the presidential election of 1860, who died a few weeks into the war, Joseph Holt, Kentucky, Buchanan's Secretary of War, Lincoln's Judge Advocate General of the Army, Francis Kernan, Congressman from New York, Michael Crawford Kerr, 32nd Speaker of the United States House of Representatives from December 6, 1875 to August 19, 1876. John A. Logan, Congressman from Illinois, Union General. George B. McClellan, Railroad President, Union General, Democratic Presidential Nominee in 1864. Joel Parker, Governor of New Jersey. 
Edwards Pierpont, in 1875, he was appointed U.S. Attorney General by President Ulysses S. Grant. William Rosecrans led the Union at Chickamauga and was asked to run with Lincoln as a war Democrat in 1864. Daniel Sickles, former New York congressman, led Third Corps at Gettysburg. David Todd, Governor of Ohio. Edwin M. Stanton, Ohio, Buchanan's Attorney General and Lincoln's Secretary of War.